I'm Michael Brooks. Joining us now is Crew. He's also a co-host at Count the Dings and Uninterrupted's The Score. Waz, Big Waz, Wazni Lambre. How you doing? What's going on, Michael? It feels great to be back. I know producer Matt is in the building. Still rocking his MAGA hat, but it's probably not autographed like Kanye's. (laughs) I got the white MAGA hat. Yeah, we only have white MAGA hats here. Oh, excuse me? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> excuse me i got it signed by lear cohen yeah yeah exactly <laughs> lear cohen and lucian grange what a weird week man i'm just following i'm trying to i'm trying to hook up with rick rubin and jordan peterson dude that's what i'm working on rick rubin and jordan peterson are bros rick rubin follows jordan peterson on twitter and so there's some uh, there's some theorizing that Rick Rubin might be behind some of the mess that we're in. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a shame because he's made some incredible contributions to music. I know. Especially hip hop. Well, that was very magnanimous of you. I just want to say, Waz, and I don't mean to throw you out like this. We are going to play the Kanye clip. And I'm just going to say two things. One... Waz and I are actually going to basically take this from a marketing angle. This is more like in the the, the, the dope boys branding into things because something's going on here with this album launch that we should probably get into versus playing the game that everybody else is playing by just sort of taking at face value and being offended. But I do also just want to say, and I'm sorry, Waz, because, you know, I'm kind of throwing you out a little bit, but I, I you know how I feel about Transparent, which is here with my audience. This clip we're about to see with Kanye on TMZ that happened a couple hours ago, I got to say, the only I've, I've heard you say this sort of thing in private to me, so it's interesting to hear it come out in public with Kanye. <laughs> Wait, which, which part? The part about, uh, am I a free thinker? Well, that goes without saying. I always say that you're my favorite black free thinker, and, I, and definitely <laughs> underscore black. But this one is, uh, this one, this was the, the, the uh, well, you hear it, and then you'll recognize yourself. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, <laughs> for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years, and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison, because slavery <laughs> goes di- too, too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. So prison is something that unites us as one race, blacks and whites being one race, uh, that we're, one, we're, we're, we're the human race. <laughs> it's just that part where you said blacks are slavery, Jews are Holocaust, and we're one race. I remember you said that to me in Gramercy. We were a little drunk. Yes, yes, no, no. Yeah. I, the, the, the Holocaust is the black slavery, except you get to still talk about the Holocaust. That's like, <laughs> that's basically <laughs> what it is, man. Like, it's, woo-wee. it's, it's, it's like your college dorm room, you know, after yep. you've taken several gravity bongs <laughs> and, you know, all kinds of mushrooms. And you're just like, you know, man, the slaves should have r- rised up, man. They should have, they should have killed those oppressors, man. They just, man, they just didn't want it bad enough, probably. <laughs> did you that's hear? Did you hear a lot of white people now. say that, wise? Because that's a terrifying no, impression. No, that's, that's just my stoner voice. Okay, that's every stoner it sounded pretty exactly white to me. Thing. It's like, well, I don't now, understand, now, wise. Now, yeah, go ahead. Now, see, Mike, stoners are all united as one race. That's for damn sure. (laughs) We can say that for sure. (laughs) You know what's funny about it is if you watch the clip, and let me just say, I don't know how Jade expects me to do my show, but I just got a text from Jade saying, uh, show link. I'm like, I mean, it's hap- it's happening, dude. But uh, <laughs> yeah, come on, just, come on, Jade. But uh, here, I'll get this to you, Jade. But uh, you know, you know, what was funny is if you look at that at that DMC clip or TMC clip, the uh, the black guy sitting next to Kanye is like stone face. Like this is the most disgusting, terrifying thing I've ever heard. And the white guy, it's not. 
the white devil face. It's the capitalist face. He's just like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep <laughs> cha-ching, going, cha-ching, cha-ching. Keep like going. I am so glad that you finally pivoted to slavery was a choice on my platform. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, what do you make of this though? I mean, we don't have to get. I mean, whatever. Everybody's talking about. But do you, is this just marketing for the album he's dropping? I think. I think it started off as the idea being, you know, what can I do or say to maximize the amount of eyeballs I can get um, in the anticipation and the rollout of this album? And it's clear he said to himself, you know what? I can do the Trump thing. This is the most radioactive and toxic, toxic thing going in culture today. I'm going to do the Trump thing. But what's... By the way, I would have been fine with, but he literally put no other level of thought into this. Mm. It's clear that he doesn't, one, he doesn't leave his house. <laughs> Two, yeah. he doesn't talk to people whose job it is, whose job it isn't to have a bunch of people follow you on Instagram, like your pics, watch a TV show. Like, he doesn't talk to people who live in the real economy. So, like, you know, he never ran this by anybody to be like, dude, this is a terrible idea. Then at one point, um, and I think he said this um, on a, in, during a talk, he was talking to the rapper T.I. Yeah, that's on one of his new like, songs, right? Right. He's like, um, you know, I don't believe, I don't agree with half the shit he says. And T.I. was like, all right, cool. Then tell me what you do agree with from the platform. Kanye's like, uh, he had nothing. He said, oh, that he did the, made the impossible happen. That was it. So he literally doesn't, he put no thought of this. You can tell he has no facility with, you know, the uh, American politics as, you know, as it functions in 2018. Like, he has no idea about any of this shit. He is like, yo, that dude's a celebrity like I am and he became president. That's it. Yeah, but I think that's you nailed it. it, right? I mean, that's the thing, though, is that part of this is just like, narcissism recognized narcissism right i mean yeah like i get i think that he basically just sees like oh you can just be like an asshole on social media and become president of course he identifies with that and you know it's the idea that he's 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 got his little weed carrier lackeys like saha the prince talking about well you know Martin Luther, y'all know Martin Luther King was Republican, right? <laughs> Which is like, it's, this is this is what I, this is why I hate the concept of conscious rappers or conscious musicians in general. Yeah, hell yes, uh, preach. Thank you, thank you. And we don't need to get into Nasir Jones and how Jay Z's a better husband than him. But <sighs> Whoo, say, you know, I knew that that was in the chamber. <laughs> I didn't know, and you're gonna doubly go. <laughs> All right, let's just take this for a second because first of all, right. fuck you. And secondly, <laughs> secondly, it's one thing. I have the maturity to recognize that an artist that I might truly admire might be a very fucked up person. But to smear Nas as a conscious rapper is inexcusable. <laughs> How dare you? That's fair. That's fair. How he dare you? talked about having sex with... Uh, <laughs> you know, sexually fun women and yes. you know, being a capitalist. He's done that so much. Yes, time. Nas has you know, talked a lot talk. about killing people, dealing drugs, and what did you call it? You having sex with sexually fun women? Yes. <laughs> I think yeah, that's a very that a very, very super unconscious to want to do that. Well <laughs> But no, I say all of that to say it's like this the disappointing thing about this is like it doesn't really take a lot of research or digging to make this conversation interesting, right? right, right. So, Sahai says we don't have to be Repub like Martin Luther King was Republican. Chance the Rapper says black people don't have to be Democrats. And it seems like this, like, oh my God, they're challenging this. It's like, dude, people, <laughs> people started voting Democrat because a freaking Democratic president, you know, he signed a bill that gave black people the right to vote and civil rights. Like, that's literally it. <laughs> you know, yeah, the, the, right. the base for the Democratic Party that was white Southerners left the party afterwards, and black people started liking them. It's not that hard to understand. Or just the idea that 
black people see the menu, you know, on offer in American politics, and they're just too stupid to take Republican to like order Republicanism. Like, are you? Please, what are we even talking about here? Me, and yeah. by the way, by the way, shouts to um Bomani Jones because he tweeted this yesterday, and he was like, "Well, you know, people say that black people are obviously hive minded, and they've been they've been drinking the, the soup." the juice of the Democratic Party. But he's like, look, if you go to the American Deep South and you look at the white vote, they vote Republican. Yeah. Just as overwhelmingly. Nobody ever calls them eyes minded. Nobody ever says they need to wake up. Nobody ever questions why they align themselves with the Republican Party. Like, it's just, it's just a weird impulse. It's just lazy. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the thing, too, is that, like, in addition to, the, like, of course, the double standards and the racism of it, there's also just, like... But also, that's an annoying thing in American culture. And like, like hip hop is not exempt from this whole like counterintuitive bullshit. Like, yes. there's a you know that's like this certain type of like, well, well, but actually, and it's like actually no, mostly not. You know what? The big fuck. It's it's funny because on one hand, like of course, like I think you got to dig into real issues and history if you want to understand anything, whether it be you know tennis or arms control. But on the other hand, like, this shit is so much more simple. It's like, it's like, yeah, this policy that taxes the wealthy and invests in, you know, infrastructure and healthcare, that has better outcomes for people with less money. And this policy that cuts taxes and gives money away to rich people, that makes them have more money. Like, there isn't all this bullshit. Like, well, actually, what happens is, is if you do that, then there's this magical process by which it does this. It's like, and it's the same principle that you were saying earlier. Like, you know, look, if, I feel like if Chance was saying, like, black people don't have to be Republicans, but as, like, Matt said, nobody can be, Repu I mean, excuse me, black people don't have to be Democrats, but nobody can be Republicans, right? Like, Sure, okay, but that's not the point. The point is that most people vote for Democrat. Most black people vote for Democrats, and actually a lot of other people just vote for Democrats because, like, the choice between, like, you know, home invasion or, like, a light mugging. Right. It's, it's not it's, complicated. And, again, it, the, the conversation didn't have to be this dumb in this day. Right. Kanye could have... And, you know, not to come up with Kanye's marketing platform, but if he would have came out and been like, look, I am a corporation. I myself am a corporation. You know, I myself do want to pay employees low wages. I myself don't want to pay the people at Donda or the people who work um, on my Yeezys. Uh, I don't want to give them health care. It's better for me. Like, he kind of came out and really talked about it. <laughs> you I mean, you were like but honest Jay-Z. I don't know, dude. That's a less hot lyric like to talk about how many rocks you sell versus how you're skirting Chinese labor laws. Um, that's a listen, tough sell. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is he could have actually talked about it. But what he did was just so lazy. And the sad part is, the saddest part in all this is like Kanye particularly like people have a sort of affection for him that not many artists in gender uh, within the music population. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, we all know what Beyonce does to people. You know what I'm saying? But even somebody like Jay-Z, who I have a deep love, and it's not the same as the way people feel about Kanye West and from the very beginning of, you know, what he stood for in people's minds, right? And, you know, there's a way that he came out, you know, more recently when he's talking about his, his position within the fashion industry and wanting to be more than just a rapper, but when you're black, you're only allowed to be seen as one thing and all of that. It, it, to just go from a guy whose music can really just stand on its own, the idea that he would have to sell controversy to get attention to his music, like, it's a desperate ploy, and it's just, it's sad, quite frankly. It's somebody who's one of the biggest Kanye fans out there. Well, let me just say then, the, the way I wrap this part of the conversation up, because we'll get to uh, the Cavs and the Celtics and Bill Cosby in a minute, but um, this actually, I realize now that I'm really happy about this. I'm glad Kanye's doing this, because in the same week that you thought you could tomahawk on me about Nas, you get devastated <laughs> about Kanye. So yeah. I'm looking like I'm breaking 500 on this, and I'm okay with that. Well, is Trumpism mm -hmm. worse than domestic violence? Yes. I, yes. I have to sit on that. I have to yes. sit on that one. It's the same thing. It's the same shit. 
I have to sleep on that one yeah. and, and get back to you.